You know what I've always wanted? I've always wanted a sandbox survival horror game. Oh wait, l let me clarify. I've always wanted a good sandbox survival horror game. And I'll just say this bluntly, Project Zomboid is a good game. It's not done, it's got a lot of potential, and it's very ambitious. Before I get into what could and will be, I'll talk about the game as it exists now. Project Zomboid is about the journey that ends with your death. There's no narrative, there are no characters, and there are no one-eyed mentalists running around being a total asshole. It's just you, zombies, and a lot of canned foods. The character creation menu is fairly straightforward. Skin colour, hair, beard, hair colour, penis or boobs, name, character traits. Okay, now these are actually important. Traits either have a negative or positive effect on your character. And I can hear you asking, what are you on about, you English shit? What's the point in choosing negative traits? Well, you gotta balance it out. I mean, I'm a comedic genius, but I'm also a lazy cunt. Your character could be a light drinker, but also extremely strong. The cool thing about this is that you can use these traits to not only make a character better, but also challenge yourself with taking deliberate negative hits on your character. As well as traits, you can also choose your character's profession. Fireman, good with axes. Policeman, good with guns. You get the idea, moving on. Once the game loads up after a shot, the world ended, you're fucked. Text fade, your character spawns in a random location, usually in a house, so it's a good idea to scour the cupboards, closets and fridge for supplies and weapons. Most supplies are obviously very valuable, but not everything, so you want to make sure you grab the rarest stuff first. You can carry shit in what I assume are your pockets, but you can also use containers, which are typically school bags or something of the sort. Even a fucking plastic bag. To be honest, if the dead started walking the earth, I'd be sure to stock up on Tesco bags. Anyway, once you get what you need and or can, it's time to have a little peeky poos around and check out your surroundings. There's a field of vision, which is understandable because it's a survival horror game using an isometric camera. So it would remove a lot of tension if you had a 360 degree view like you had an extremely intelligent pet eagle or some shit. This limited view can be made less limited if you take a specific trait, but I don't really see a substantial difference, so fuck it! Just be cautious! Or you could just run around like an idiot and die within minutes. Oh god, what's that? No! Ah, oh god, I'm fucking horrified! N kind, kind of, kind of like that. Just know that this game is actually quite tough. It's quite a nice change to the norm though, where zombies are just an annoyance rather than an actual threat. No, in this game, even one zombie is enough to fuck you up. A one second lapse in concentration, and boom, you've been scratched or bitten. Being scratched is generally not a huge deal, but can still rarely be fatal. However, if you're bitten, you're essentially fucked, so you may as well go out in a blaze of glory with your preferred weapon, be it a golf club or fucking shotgun. This brings us nicely onto weapons and combat. The combat in Project Zomboid is fairly straightforward. You aim, you attack. You can charge up your attacks with the right click button, which helps a lot when there are just a couple of zombies in the way, but when there are more than you can easily count, you should never engage them. Running out of steam midway through an encounter can lead to some nasty consequences usually involving chunks of your flesh being torn off by rotten zombie gnashes. As I said, just be cautious. Always think it's better to avoid zombies altogether if you can, especially since your weapon deteriorates with use. Weapons come in all shapes and sizes, from a shitty little pencil to a garden shovel. Now obviously the garden shovel, for example, will be a lot stronger and last a longer while, but don't knock the pencil, because any weapon is better than no weapon, and guns, well, they're, they're guns. It's fairly obvious what they bring to the table. Power, range, and a lot of noise. Definitely the last resort unless you're miles away from your safe house. Being in a zombie apocalypse is terribly depressing, extremely horrifying, and quite cold. The reason I'm talking about these things is that a big part of Zomboid's gameplay are these emotion indicators, cutely named Moodles. <laughs> Moodles, so cute. Moodles. Uh, in video games, emotions are quite hard to simulate correctly, especially when you're going to directly affect gameplay. Sometimes when used in games they're a bit too extreme considering the situation, and sometimes the emotions are used correctly but they don't really affect anything. But in Project Zomboid they mostly make sense. Moodles can grow in severity if they go untreated. Walking around a corner only to be greeted by a horde of the undead will make a character shit his pants. Not literally, but it's an idea. Indie Stone, you can have that idea for free. When you get scared, your character has a chance to shit his pants. You're welcome. There are some things you can do to make your life in Project Zomboid a little less fucked. You can construct walls, doors, barrels. You can construct a bunch of shit to help put safety between you and the living dead. Get an axe, chop some trees, make some planks, nail planks together, and voila! You have yourself a disgustingly terrible wall. But you can level up your construction, just as you can level up a variety of skills. Sprinting, blunt weapon use, and even farming, to name a few. Oh yeah, farming, motherfucker. Planting tomatoes by day, breaking the skulls of the walking dead by night. So, the future of Zomboid is definitely encouraging. Now, I'm not a developer at Indie Stone, nor do I have the knowledge and inside scoops that certain people I know possess, but I do have an idea of where Zomboid is heading, and I'm excited. And if you like the look of this game, you should be too. 
Earlier in the video I said there are no other characters. Well, that won't always be true. NPCs are on their way, and they have a lot of promise. Indie Stone says they will be clever, interesting, and most important, fun. Expect bandits, lone wolves, helpless groups, sneaky underhand bastards, cowardly buggers, and much more. Party up with NPCs and have them help you on supply runs, or keep them back at the safe house and watch over the place. This feature excites me a lot, and there's tons of potential here. The map is already pretty fucking large, but I would imagine Indie Stone wants to expand even further, and maybe even add more maps. Not to mention the whole of the modding community making things for this game. I could ramble on and on about Project Zomboid, but I'll leave you with this. Right now, at the time of this recording, Project Zomboid is an extremely fun early access game. There's tons more coming and I can't wait. This is finally the sandbox survival horror game I've always wanted. And it's not even finished yet.